It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. Retail transformation is very much underway as traditional retailers close stores and file for bankruptcy at rates not seen since the Great Recession. In fact, over 6,700 stores have shuttered in 2017 alone. Big retail can no longer dominate in today's digital environment without reevaluating their strategy. How can retailers reinvent themselves to be successful in today's market? What do the new rules of retail mean for 2018? Download Sumo Heavy's newest white paper to learn the best practices and principles. The free white paper can be downloaded at newrulesofretail.info. That's newrulesofretail.info. It's e-commerce minute for January 30th, 2018. In today's episode, Walmart 3D patent lets you pick your produce. (laughs) In news of things you didn't think you needed? (laughs) (laughs) One of the most difficult thing about buying groceries online, especially produce, is not knowing exactly what you're buying. Walmart hopes to solve that pain point. In a recent patent filing, consumers will be able to view real images of their groceries rather than stock images before purchasing online, according to a report by CB Insights. The system is called Fresh Online Experience, or FOE. The customer orders an item based on a stock photo, then a store associate scans the exact item in Walmart's inventory and sends it to the customer. The customer would receive a notification to approve or reject the scan of the first actual fresh item within a fixed amount of time. If the scan of the first apple is rejected, the communications module will notify the store associate to scan an additional actual fresh item for approval. Customers will be allowed a fixed number of attempts to approve the scan of additional fresh items so that the associate doesn't have to select and reselect apples in perpetuity. When the limit is reached, the customer would be presented with a list of images they'd already seen and be prompted to pick one or remove the apple from the order. The system then places an edible watermark on the items selected by the consumer before the goods are delivered. As reported in Retail Dive, a study from Nielsen last year found that more than half of consumers worldwide have purchased clothes, books, and music online. In comparison, less than a quarter of consumers have bought packaged or fresh groceries online. That figure, however, is expected to rise. Nielsen predicts that in 10 years, 60% of U.S. households will buy food online. (laughs) I had trouble getting through that read there. So this poor guy has got to stand there and scan apples until, until Johnny Millennial finds the apple that he likes. Uh huh. <laughs> what? What? Let's go to the store, dude. Yeah. Uh, so there's got. I'm, I'm sure that there's going to be some automation component to this. This is just the, the kind of silliest thing that I've I've heard. Um, well, it's we, just making. Uh, yeah, it's making people not go anywhere. You can just sit in your yeah, house. Yeah, just lazy and lay Just lay there. Like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm buying some apples, bro. Let's buy some apples. Um. <laughs> I, I think it could be just a matter of Walmart just beating Amazon to the punch. Um, I mean, they're all, I mean, I get that it's silliness with the Apple thing, obviously, but yeah, I mean, that's the beginnings of tech. That's got That's that will come at some point. Cause you would think that they'll do it automation style really quickly. You know what I mean? All right. So the positive part is this, this is a pain point buying groceries. Even, even if you're, you get, you know, even if you're just ordering from your local uh, giant store and the, the associate may not be taking the care that you would expect because right. you like your bananas a certain way. I can understand that just the labor involved with, uh, you know, so Johnny millennial can get the right shade of bananas for him is just, um, it's maddening. And I can just see someone doing, no, bro, you gotta get a little green on the top, man. It's, I like my bananas, a little green on the top. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Millennial, bro, can you squeeze, oh. bro? Can you squeeze that cardo, man? I like my avocados. It's a little firm in the middle. Yeah, let's push it. Let's shan in there, man. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this became really funny now. Johnny Millennial. All right, he's my he's my new character. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny Millennial. Johnny <laughs> Millennial. Oh boy, ah, uh, that was really funny. All right. Anything else to add to this ridiculousness? I got nothing. All right. Go pick your own damn apples. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.
The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.